All right, so here's a quick look at GIF Mask, which is a web app that lets you create new GIFs by compositing other GIFs together using Layer Mask. So what does that actually mean? Well, up here you can see a preview of the GIF that we are creating. Um, and if we actually look down at the layers down here, you can see that the base GIF here is that preview. So that is what is currently being previewed. Now we have multiple layers on top of this base layer, and those are what are actually being masked off using layer mask. So above that, you see layer one here, which is the Nick Cage layer. That one is currently not being shown at all. Um, so we have to actually go and define a layer mask so we tell which portions of this layer are going to show up in the resulting GIF here. So I'm actually going to, I can play back the GIF and just sort of see a preview of it. I can scrub through the timeline here, see no Nick Cage action. Let's go fix that. I'm gonna select the brush tool up here. And now I'm gonna go and start defining the layer mask that I want. So just clicking and I'm gonna slowly mask out Nick Cage here. Not really Photoshop quality tools for this, but you can get the job done. Just kind of quickly throw something together. I can switch to the eraser tool as well here. If I make a mistake, just go back. And I can also adjust the stroke size if I really want to, to make things more fine grain. I missed a few sections of Nick Cage, but that looks pretty solid. So now we have Nick Cage's face and it is being masked out. Now, what does this mask actually look like? We can actually click on this little icon down here in the timeline to see the mask that we have defined. So the white sections are what are going to show up in the final image. And we can also move Nick Cage around, get him at the center of the rainbow, scale him down, all those types of things. Now, of course, you're not limited to just having two layers. You could have as many layers as you really want. So now I've created a new layer. Now I can just drop a GIF from my computer onto here, onto this layers uh, area, or I could go find one from Giphy. So I'm gonna say cat, and let's use this cat image. Again, it is completely masked out, but I'm gonna use the quick mask tool here to actually reveal part of it. Now it is, oh, let's actually do show bottom. There we go. Um, now it is a smaller GIF in terms of the resolution, so it's kind of small here. We're gonna go scale this up. Let's do like 150% and maybe make Nick Cage a little bit smaller too. It's kind of overwhelming this image. So do like 75 or 85 is good enough, I guess. Uh, and let's go to the cat layer here and just quickly mask things out as well. So just blah, blah, blah. And here do the same. Now we have our nice image and let's just position this cat a little bit more here and then position Nick Cage right on top of that. And we can also reorder the layers if we wanted to. So you can see that Nick Cage, is, we could have him in front of the cat if we wanted or behind the cat. So we can just reorder things however we want. So this probably looks better. And now we have a lovely new GIF that we've created. You can even do things like zoom out and zoom in and really see our GIF in a lot of detail. So quite beautiful. Now, once we're done, we can actually just click the export button here. And it is now creating a new GIF um, that we can go and upload wherever we want. So now we are free to share this GIF with the world and you can upload this to wherever you want, share it on social media, whatever. So that is GIF Mask. It really lets you create amazing works of art like this. Um, and it was kind of a little fun project to build and explore some uh, new technologies for me. Give it a try.